Good day fellow investors, we are continuing with the summary of One Up on Wall Street, probably one of the best investing books out there. And what we're going to summarize today is, is how to invest through stock market crashes, how to behave, because Peter Lynch is, discusses how he behaved during the 1987 stock market crash that was a big crash with stocks falling 22.6% in one day. How are you going to behave? What's important? What's not important? One of the greatest investors of all time is telling us. We're going to discuss what Peter Lynch did, how he behaved, what is important when it comes to stock market crashes and how to invest through stock market crashes. We'll finish this video with his summary and four investing lessons how to invest through stock market crashes. Before we start, just quickly click the like button if you enjoy this videos, subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified each time a new video comes out for you that you don't miss the most important videos. Let's start. The stock market crash of 1987 happened on Black Monday, October 13, 1987, when the Dow plunged 500 points in one day, down 22.6%. From 1982, the Dow index jumped from 2,000 points to 6,000 points. And when October came, market panic created a selling spiral, also computer programmed selling spiral stop losses that sent the market down. The news related to the crash was all about panic, comparing it to the 1929 crash. But it is a situation that can happen anytime. The Dow went up three times in five years, which means that maybe tomorrow the stock market can crash 20% easily. However, Peter Lynch's reactions to the 1987 stock market crash is very, very peculiar. The first funny thing is that he was on holiday in Ireland while his investors lost $2 billion in one day. That's two B with a billion dollars. He was visiting Blarney Castle, kissing the Blarney Stone and playing golf in the beautiful fields of Ireland. Later, he was more on the phone because they had to sell stocks. He was always 100% invested to cater for the fund redemptions. He says that fortunately, there was just 3% of investors that wanted their money back. So he had to sell 3% of the fund. And when that panic strikes the markets, it's normal that people want to sell. Even if great investors would never sell in, the, in a panic, they are forced to sell and therefore push stocks even lower. That's the unfortunate truth when it comes to stock market. You can be smart, but panic, fund, redemptions, people start selling and therefore you have those flash crashes like we had in December 2018. It's something completely normal. Just a comment, only one investor is protected for, from having to sell and that's Warren Buffett. He doesn't have a fund, he has a company which is Berkshire, so you cannot redeem stocks or money from that. That's why B Buffett has a company, not a fund. Now, going to Peter Lynch's four market crash lessons, the first is ignore the ups and downs of the market. Something extremely hard to do because we are bombarded with constant news about stock price and market moves. But you have to focus on business fundamentals. You should also forget about stock prices. And a funny note from Lynch is that in the 1970s, stock market news was hard to find. However, today, stock market news is hard to avoid. To quote Peter Lynch, when you sell in desperation, you always sell cheap. So don't ever sell in desperation, be prepared for it. Secondly, stocks go up over the long term. The funny thing about the great panic in 1987 is that pretty soon stocks recovered, passed through the previous high and never looked back. The Dow Jones index went from 1833 points in the bottom of the 1987 stock market crash to 10,000 points by 1999. Thirdly, don't let nuisances ruin a good portfolio. Those that own the good portfolio like the Dow Jones did really well. And this is perhaps the most important thing to understand. When investing, you can't predict crashes, but you can own great businesses. Of course, every stock will fall in a crash in a recession. But if you all have great businesses, those businesses will do well over the very long term, compound, 
and deliver amazing returns. Superior companies will succeed, mediocre companies will fail. And when it comes to a crash, people often sell the stock that went up the most for them, the best performing stock, because they think now it will crash terribly. But the best performing stock is often the best business you have that might do extremely well over the long term. Therefore, you have to hold stocks for the long term and don't focus on the nuisances, the noise the market produces. And then something very interesting, bull and bear markets don't last forever. A great fact to know when it comes to investing is the following. There is a 10% or more stock market decline every few years. There is a 20% or more stock market decline every six years. There is a 30% or more big stock market crash every decade or so. So this is something you have to expect. This is something completely normal and this is something you can't avoid. Therefore, Take it as granted, stocks will be volatile, but when those businesses deliver, the businesses deliver on returns, you will do well. So don't try to time the market, focus on great investments. So this is Lynch's view on stock market crashes. I hope it will give you a positive sense on how to invest in this market. Tomorrow I'll discuss about stock market crash predictions, doom and gloom, and how those make you lose a lot of money over the long term. But to stay on the topic of this summary, we're going to continue with the summary of this book that is divided in three parts. The first part is about how to prepare yourself to start investing, then how to find great businesses, and the third part is how to remain a long-term investor. The key when it comes to investing shared by one of the best investors out there. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click like, click that notification bell, not to miss great videos. Looking forward to your comments and I'll see you in the next video.